Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So basically today's video is going to be about how to make sure that you're being shown up for particular keywords that you have, you know, compiled and incorporated within your listing. Basically this method is called indexing. So you just want to make sure you're being indexed for particular keywords that are really important to you. One way of doing this is through Helium 10's index checker tool. Basically you'll be entering a list of keywords that you thought were really super important for your product. And then Helium 10 will pull all the heavy leverage and basically let you know if you're being indexed for those particular keywords keywords and it will also let you know if you're not being indexed for those particular keywords so it's going to help you in the process of making sure that all that optimization and whatnot is paying off and that you're being ranked for these keywords and if you're not being ranked for those keywords then obviously we need to find the root of the issue so I'm going to go over a little in-depth tutorial today with you guys in the next section but before I begin I just want to let you guys know I make a fake content on a weekly basis I really try to push for valuable content for you guys so it'd mean the world to me if you can subscribe to my channel all right Alright, so let me go on with this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next section. Today we'll be using this UV LED nail lamp. So we're just going to be checking if we're being indexed for importing keywords for this particular product. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is grab this product's ASIN. So the ASIN is right here. I'm going to copy that. Next, we're going to go into Helium 10. Basically, we're going to, you know, incorporate this as ASIN onto the tool um, to see, um, to analyze this particular product's listing. So we're going to go into Helium 10 and then you're going to go on the left hand section and then go under listing optimization tab and then the index checker tool just click on that all right and then you should get this screen so basically once you've entered this screen you're going to enter the product ASIN which I've already done here and then basically you do not need to enter the seller ID um, that is optional as you guys can see right here as well optional um, basically if you want to check your storefront index um, that's where you would enter the seller ID but if you're just checking for you know basic indexing for your keyword words, then you don't have to go ahead and enter the seller ID. That's um, up to your preference. All right, now we have this section. So this is basically the section where you're going to check for the keywords that you wanted to see if you're being indexed for. So these are my important keywords that I've entered in. I want to see if I'm being shown up for, you know, this the phrase nail polish light, nail polish dryer, gel light for nails. I want to see these are really important keywords for me. All right, and so now I'm going to check mark remove duplicates because there's no point in having duplicates. And then I'm going to also check mark maintain phrases because I want to make sure that I have this exact phrase that I'm being indexed for or being shown up for. All right, and so after you've entered that list, you're gonna have, go ahead and press check keywords, but I already done that um, just to make this a little quicker. All right, and then once you've entered check keywords, you're gonna get this chart that's you know being presented on my screen. So basically, we see a bunch of symbols on this chart and I'm gonna explain everything to you guys right now. But the most important column for us is the cumulative chart. So basically, as you guys can see all these check marks, and then we see one dash. Basically, what these check marks means is that, yes, it is confirmed that I am being indexed for all these keywords except for nail scrapper. So under the word nail scrapper, we can see a dash. Basically, what the dash means is that, no, I am not being indexed for this particular phrase, nail scrapper. However, everything else I am being indexed for, I'm being indexed for the phrase, nail polish light, nail polish dryer, gel light for nails, etc. However, nail scrapper is the only one on the list with the dash meaning that it is not being indexed for and that it means that it's not anywhere on my listing and I'm just going to have to go back onto my listing and incorporate this keyword somewhere within the listing. Okay, so we got that confirmed. So we know that our most important column is cumulative and we want to see if that we want to see all our keywords are getting check marks and the ones with the dash, we need to double check to see if they're on our listing. All right, so now we have these columns. Basically, we have the traditional index column, field ASIN index column, the storefront index column. Um, the reason there's an X's on the storefront index column is because it just means that Helium 10 did not check if you're being indexed for that keyword within the storefront. Um, the X, that's what the X means. It does not mean you're being indexed for it. It just means that Helium 10 could not check for you if you're being indexed or um, non-indexed for it. Um, that's because we did not put in the seller ID. So if you want to check storefront index, just incorporate the seller ID and um, Helium 10 will check for you um, in that way. But basically what traditional index means, it's basically the ASIN and the keyword test. So let me show you guys an example, nail polish light. So basically we have the ASIN number here and then the keyword, and it's just doing a test of whether you're being indexed that way. And obviously from our checker, we did get a check mark for that. So we are being indexed within that format. 
And then field ASIN index is just the keyword within the search bar. So basically nail polish light without the ASIN. So we are being indexed that way. We got a check mark for that. So basically if you pass one of either two tests, you will receive a gray check mark. If you receive a green check mark, it basically just means that you've passed two of those tests of which is either the traditional field traditional or field index test. So if you pass both of them, then you will receive a green check mark within the cumulative column. But you just it doesn't matter whether you get green or gray as long as you're being indexed either way, that's all that should matter to you. Another easier way of checking if you're being indexed or indexed or to like organize this in a more efficient manner, go ahead and export this into a Excel file. Pull it up. And then let me move this over for you guys. And so basically you guys can go ahead and erase these columns because those are not important. Remember, we're gonna check the cumulative column and go ahead and filter this. And you're gonna filter for not indexed. And now you found an easier way of finding the keywords that you are not being indexed for and basically copy those keywords and go ahead and check your listing if you have those keywords somewhere within your listing. But if you're not being indexed for them, it just means that you don't have it anywhere in your listing likely. So that just makes it easier for you guys if you just want a quicker and faster way of seeing, okay, which keywords am I not being indexed for or which um and go from there. Um, this this will be more practical if you have like a huge long list of keywords that you're checking for. So, <coughs> sorry about that. So I hope that video was super helpful. This is such a great, this is such a crucial process of, you know, after doing, creating your listing and optimizing your listing because you want to make sure after all that optimization that you're being shown up for these keywords because being shown up for a keyword is going to impact your traffic, impact your conversions, and you just need that reassurance of, okay, this is a really important keyword for me. Let me go ahead and check if I'm being shown up for it um, because, you know, that's probably where most of my traffic is going to come from anyways. So, very crucial, very important, and this tool will definitely deep dive into your listing and see if you're being shown up for these particular keywords. So highly suggest doing this after creating your listing. And um, let's say you um, found all your non-index keywords and you incorporated them to your listing after doing this method. Um, wait about 15, 20 minutes for the Amazon's algorithm to register that and then they'll likely, you know, um, you'll likely be indexed after waiting those 20 minutes because you've incorporated it into your listing. Some reasons why you may not be indexed for a particular keyword is because it's just not anywhere on your listing. It's not within your bullet points, backends, your subject matter or your title. It's just not anywhere. Or it could be it's just a forbidden keyword or Amazon simply just didn't think it was relevant um, to your product. So it's just figuring it out on these terms and figuring out what was the issue but most of the time it's just not anywhere within your listing so i hope that was helpful i hope that was clear and i wish you guys the best with this method and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching i wish you guys the best